Greetings and welcome everyone. You are in another episode of the Health, Wisdom and Wealth Show, Powerful Conversations for Living Your Best Life. And I'm V. Lynn Hawkins, your host. And my guest today is an amazing woman, an expert acupuncturist, but we're going to be talking about something that is very holistic way of looking at who we are and why we are. And we're going to be talking on the topic of renewing your life force for the new year of the tiger. You know, we're approaching the Chinese new year and we want to be our best. How do we do that? We do that with finding information and hearing from experts like Chuli Zhu. She's an expert acupuncturist, a natural health professional. She is an, uh, a teacher, an educator, a mentor, and she is an entrepreneur. She is the natural health professional and lead acupuncturist at the Eternal Health Wellness Center. And she likes to make sure that people achieve optimal health without drugs. Isn't that what we want? If you're looking for natural solutions to your health concerns, she's one to always interact with her patients in a way that they not only understand what they're going through, but the cause and the relative solution with the work that she does are all brought in to make this holistic journey an absolute joy to go through. And yes, it's a joy to go through um, recovering from illness into being healthy. And that is the focus of Chuli Zoo. So Julie, thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Neen. Uh, it's a, such an honor to speak with you in the new uh, beginning of the 2022. And we're approaching the year of tiger, 2022 in lunar calendar. So I'm so excited to get set, um, set some good seed for a successful, happy, striving year of 2022 and the year of tiger. Awesome. I love it. And, you know, the Chinese New Year is something that I've always been aware of, but I have not been aware of the significance of it. Even being, you know, one who's well versed in the energies and the cosmos and just how our planet reacts to certain things. And I know that there is so much wisdom in the ancient teachings of various cultures. And I just loved when I started studying the Chinese New Year and the lunar calendar and the connection and the energies that all come together and how to prepare for it and what to do through it. I was simply amazed and honored and happier to have learned all of this. And we're gonna be talking all of about some of these things. But as we get started, Julie, tell us a little more about you, your journey towards this focus on acupuncture and helping people the way that you do. Yes. Yeah, you see, I'm standing here. I'm in California or San Jose Bay Area. You, but you can see I have an Asian, fa Asian face. So I came from China 24 years ago, actually. So I throughout the last uh, about 30 years i've been traveling actually uh, first of all i i grew up to china right so as a 10 years old i already collect the herbs you know for the family to do little things help out right they call me herbal little herbal uh, herbalist right <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, I uh, went, went to College of Traditional Chinese Medicine after high school. So after eight years study, so I really I have a lot of knowledge about this uh, 5,000 years healing art. So in other words, we sit on the mountain based on thousand years, 
five thousand years of accumulation of working on people in real life, improve the health, heal the illness, recover from disease without uh, chemicals. Practically, <laughs> that's about the traditional Chinese medicine, which have five thousand years history. Right? And then after. Uh, after my graduation, I teach in the uh, university hospital. I have a master's degree from there, eight years study. Wow. And then I went to Switzerland for three and a half years and traveled to USA. So I, I've been such an honor to able to share this ancient healing art throughout my whole career, yeah, including actually international, I would say. And in USA, I've been several states, Hawaii, Pennsylvania, uh, Bay Area for California for 24 years. So, wow, that's a journey. My hair get white now. <laughs> yes, both of ours. I remember when we met, my hair wasn't as white as it is now either. <laughs> but um, I see you more. Yeah, I see more shining than before. I know the wisdom, the life wisdom, you know, inspiration keep us going. The passion for help people live the best life possible. Keep us keep going, right? It does. It really does. And that's what we're going to be talking about today because it really is about renewing your life force. And so why don't we start out by really defining what it is that we consider our life force and why it needs renewing. Yeah, since it's life, like any other life uh, form, plants, you know, anything and that as long as it's alive, that needs to be renewed. The, the requirement for renewing, just, you know, have the sun, have light, have water, same to us, you know, as a human being, uh, according to Chinese medicine, ancient philosophy, us human being is part of the universe as a unified unit. So if we don't follow that nature, in many ways, in like seasonal uh, day, daytime, evening, nighttime, have this really correlational uh, change or uh, justify how you dress, how you eat, you know, our body will suffer. We be, lose the balance, lose the life force. That's why we get the uh, illness, disease, or even more serious. So keep the life renewed by doing the what life requires. And then we are staying in balance, in good health. I love that staying in balance and in good health. And um, it's, it's easy to think that it doesn't matter or, you know, I'm just, I'm feeling this way and it's kind of off, but um, to know that that's a signal that you're out of balance and there's something that you can do to get back in balance. I love how you put it. It's bringing back more natural things into your life. And um, you know, I don't know about you, but I try to take a walk at least once a day, most days, twice a day, in order to get out into the elements. And that's rain for me, rain or shine. Wow. Um, the 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 amazing thing that an umbrella can do for you, right? <laughs> uh, so, what are some of the things that you help your clients to? do when they come to you and they're in a state of imbalance and illness and you know yes acupuncture but how do you get them to understand that they are in need of a rebalancing yes you know like you mentioned i love what you said we have certain symptoms some illness it's they are indicators of body function is in, imbalanced. There is something going on, give the signal. Either you can take it, take as something to rebalance or you can ignore. So if you want to rebalance, uh, we need to look at. So what the number one thing is I always educate our clients. Anyone 
even in the uh, public, you know, to it's possible to reap imbalance with in yourself with your own body's healing ability, you know, instead of rely on chemicals, you know, outside outside uh, medication to rebalance. So our body was built with ability. I mean, immunity. Uh, many functions can just activate, you know, by doing the, you know, let's like use the walking, deep breathing, acupressure, or just meditation. All this will activate your body's healing power to rebalance yourself. That's that's just a principle. Under this mindset, so when you get sick. You're now grab the medication first. You think about what has been missing last period of time. Maybe lack of sleep, maybe lack of exercise, maybe under stress, maybe eat the wrong food. So all this can cause our body imbalance. So by identify what is missing, like if somebody say, I haven't exercised for a while. You just, you, you know, the door is open, you have, uh, you, your feet just move and then you can actually uh, you can start to trigger the body's healing power and a lot of time it's not we don't, we feel good to exercise but actually we exercise to feel good right so many things we choose the right food because we want to be healthy so bigger bigger way when clients come to me patients come to me i always identify Sometimes I, you don't need to tell me. If I look at your face, complexion, you know, some puffiness or dark circle, I know you don't sleep well. I know your body uh, 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 contains some water. So by identifying that, wow, they start to realize, wow. Sometimes a lot of time when people are sick, they don't know what's causing it. So my job is really uh, waking them up by pointing out what's going on with the body. Like I treated the one uh, patient uh, um, last week, he had uh, some neuropathy, uh, sharp pain in the leg, sweating so hard. When I touch his legs, the shin bone area is like a rock. I said, wow, what's going on? No circulation at all. No wonder you have this uh, sharp pain and numbness, right? The circulation is blocked. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, you don't need to do any test. You see it, right? Mm -hmm. So I did some uh, uh, perform some acupuncture, and I also asked, uh, "How's your uh, salty intake?" He said, "I eat pretty salty." I said, "That's number one. You need to reduce your salt. You know, salt contains water." And then actually, after acupuncture, cut him. I, he left, and then uh, 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 five days later, he wrote me an uh, email. She he said i'm floating in heaven because the pain was 15 on, on 10 before now i've been pain free for last five days wow awesome not only that he said i feel balanced i feel my life is renewed you know because just as that and that's really com compelling me to help more people to be Pain free without even taking anything. That is amazing. And I want I want to go into this a little more, but I want to ask you too. Well, let me let me just ask this first um, about acupuncture. You know, when you said you performed some acupuncture on him, um, tell us a little bit about what acupuncture really does how it might maybe opens up something so life force energy can flow better. Tell, tell us how that actually works. Yes, actually the body has a very complete system, but we talk about the nerve system, uh, blood system, but actually we call meridian system. Meridian system is the energy life force flow inside of the meridians throughout the body it's just such a good networking from head to toe from ear to kidney so you know this is so well networked so anything you know you have a ear tinnitus or really in the ear or some like a hair loss but it's from the kidney 
people say, how come years continue? So through ancient uh, uh, practitioners, they observe something going wrong with the uh, year is tied to kidney. If we tonify the kidney, allow the kidney flow and energy flow again, the here is better. So over the years of years, the system become really a proven works. Like exactly I treated this uh, a gentleman's uh, neuropathy on the foot, on the legs. So because if the life force flow continuously balanced in your system, in the meridians, you are in good health. For any reason we mentioned, uh, physical, emotion, stress, uh, chemical can damage this, can block the energy flow. So that's what we say, where there is pain must be must have some blocked energy. So through the stimulator, the uh, acupuncture meridian points, able to reopen it. So when the when the open neck, neck the pipe is blocked, clogged, we can open with drill, and then they start flow again. With the flow, all the problems resolved. That's just very simple. Open the uh, energy life life force flow in the meridian. Life started again. I mean, that is amazing. And I know that you treat many women. What is the one of the most common issues that women come to you for treatment of? And what do you um, guide them through as you teaching them about how you're going to help them? Yes, typical, uh, typical uh, lady uh, come here, woman's condition, woman came here, clients come here, you really feel tired lack of energy and the tension in the neck, shoulder, back. And then with cannot sleep, insomnia, cannot sleep. So gaining some weight. So all this makes them, makes them cannot do the things they do before, like exercise, like uh, uh, have uh, normal activities. So they come here with just, oh, I just not feeling myself anymore. You know, I used to do this, I used to do that. Now I'm just uh, lazy, be home, feel miserable. You know, so can you, when you cannot sleep, next day you have to get up, feel continuously tired just like unrecovered tiredness and affect your hormones, especially if you approach to menopause, you know, that's the time, or even sometimes people continuously have these issues after menopause, during the menopause. So women, you know, when after uh, 45, close to 50, it is a changing. So that's, mm. we have most of middle age crisis about beyond. So uh, when the actually is amazingly like this lady came here with tension neck, shoulder, depressed. She, she said, I was so energetic before. Now I cannot because all this heaviness in the shoulder, cannot sleep, emotion depressed, gaining weight, make her just not self. And then after treatment, I'm surprised the next day she came back. I, for some reason, I didn't recognize her. I said, who's this lady? <laughs> <laughs> See, because when you, when you have this pain relief and then they can sleep, just the whole life is renewed. That's what it is. I really love to see that happen. I do too. I just, you know, I've actually experienced that. And it's been interesting to know that I love how you put it, the systems were so well networked within us. And I don't think that we think about it that way. You know, the, the ear and the kidney and the connections inside of us. You know, most recently we've been learning more about the uh, head, heart and gut connection. And to know that there are so many other network systems within us, um, the vagus nerve and other things, it's really understanding that when something is blocked, it's going to let, our body is going to let us know. What are some of the other symptoms that people typically will ignore because they think, oh, that's just a matter of getting old? 
Yeah. So I think if you notice um, some like a sleep changed pattern, you cannot sleep, wake up a few times. That's actually, this is the number one thing you need to be aware because our body needs absolute recovery, rejuvenate through the night. Especially if you cannot sleep, you get, get up to do something, that's even, even worse. So I really recommend everyone have a regular sleep, even though you cannot sleep well, stay in bed, don't get up, do something. Allow the body to, you know, we talk about follow the, follow the nature at night is the in, in, in means quiet time. So just have a good night's sleep. Uh, I'll try to prepare for the good night's sleep. That's the number one, decay, make us health go downwards. Another sign is the stress. You know, when you feel stressed, you will manifest the tension in the neck, shoulder, you know, headache. So don't ignore those. It's not you. It's some people say, I take Advil or some pills, I'm feeling okay. But with time, if you cover the signal, the body tells you, actually it's become worse, you know, become worse. Sometimes you might notice, wow, I'm people take pills, sleep, you know, take, uh, sleep pills is not really put you sleep. It's just next day, they still feel not rested, you know, and also just sleep is most important things we need to pay attention, right? So anytime if you feel body, some pain, just tap it, you know, get in the flow, get in the going, tap it. So I love to teach this to everyone. So I'm, I have a Facebook group, of, uh, Facebook group, just Eternal Health Wellness. Just join me. I will. I already have many health tips, demonstration there. So love to have you, Eternal Health Wellness on Facebook group. Yeah, I love that. Okay, okay. And so let's kind of switch gears here and talk about the year of the tiger. Are there things that as we're approaching this year of the tiger that we can do to prepare to have the, the best of 2022? I know, you know, the January one being the, um, uh, I forget what calendar that it, it, it is, but it's- Maybe our first is uh, uh, the beginning of first day of a uh, tiger year, year of tiger, yes. And it is also the beginning of the lunar calendar, right? Yes. And there are certain things to be aware of so that you can make the most as you're approaching going into the new year. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, all the uh, horoscope, Chinese horoscope about the year tie together the uh, nature, the feature of the animal of that year you know as you know tiger is the most is powerful tenacity and pretty smart <laughs> right oh, so love it. yeah but in order to put out your best you need to have a hybrid time preparation time that means you will need to have a certain Preparation time have uh, uh, have the leap right. If you don't have the energy, you cannot leap or leap strongly or leap big right. So leap is inevitable for next year. Doesn't matter what you do, you know, whether you want to bet a good great health, great uh, career, finance freedom, or just strive relationship or just joy happiness. Whatever you want to leap to your next level of your life. That's the year, year of tiger. So to get to have this big leap to reach your dream place, dream spot, dream level, prepare. You can start now because there was still twin, about uh, uh, how, how many days? About uh, 10 days to prepare. Mm -hmm. Get your plan, get your uh, plan, go setting up and then prepare for that leap, health, wellness, wealthy, everything you want in life. I love that. 
Thank you. Health, wellness, wealthiness. And um, it's really important. So if we're actually thinking today is February 1st, it is the Chinese New Year. What are some things that you and others traditionally do on this day to recognize, acknowledge, invite in um, for this new year? Yeah, beginning of the new year, traditional China, we eat, we eat uh, actually the round uh, stick rice bowl. So that means that this year goes smooth and this, you know, flows. So rice bowl, if you can get some from Chinese grocery store, and also big red, um, a red red color uh, ribbons. So that means red represents red color represents happiness. Shrine. Or if you can have a red lantern, you can get some red lantern hanging in front of your doors or somewhere. Red color is good. And to recognize the tiger, is there something that we can do to add to? And I love the red. I th I've already got my red and um, um, I love that. Um, how do we bring the tiger aspect into it? Or is it just about knowing that we're ready for this leap? Yeah, this leap, you know, tiger is when they move, move fast. You don't hesitate or hesitate to procrastinate, right? You, you want to have the spirit of tiger, step into it, whatever you want to step into. That's the, that's, that's the action you can really match the tiger year, you know? And uh, you can have a tiger in tiger symbol in your, always look at tenacity, leap, leaping, you know, whatever just symbolic will give you courage and also courage. Tiger has courage. You know, sometimes it's danger. They face the challenge, face the danger, face the risk to leap over. When you move that step, you, are, you leaped already. Awesome. And, um... As far as renewing your life force for the new year, is it good to, you know, if you're the person who has not been exercising or, you know, has not been eating the best that they can eat, is this the point in time where you're really opening the door and making the commitment to move forward into the new year? Um, with the energy of the Chinese and Lunar New Year with you? Absolutely. Imagine the tiger in front of you. What do you do? You don't better take action, you know? Do little things. Either just move, you know? Choose, write down. This is something I want to take on this year. You know, whether you like exercise, food, meditation or drink enough water or anything you are you are you are you notice is missing in your life balance just bring in and then tiger is there it's not the tiger this symbolic tiger is not a real tiger they just give you positive energy not attack you okay just have a peace of mind and we have a spirit of tiger just uh, have courage to leap, to reach what we want to achieve, renew our life. This is a year to start. That is awesome. And this is the year to start to do things in a way that it becomes a sustainable new habit. And it actually becomes something that you want to do because not, not only do you know that it's good for your health, it is good for your wealth. It is good for your relationships. It is good for your business, your work environment. And I, I love that you've brought this to us because again, 
I think that, you know, a lot of us have heard about the Chinese New Year and the Lunar New Year, but really connecting the dots and understanding that there's real power in it. And it all is from the concept of coming from within us, I think is amazing. So Julie, as we bring our conversation to a close today, which I hate to do, you and I could talk about this for the longest because there's so much more in this to be said. What is something that you'd like to share with our audience that you feel is important for our audience to walk away with from this conversation? Yes. So I think uh, start from your heart. So what really your heart desire is, in touch with it, and then come to your mind. How do I achieve what, what am I, uh, my heart calling for? Whether it's um, health, uh, your personal life, or uh, finance, everything, anything just I really, this is something I deeply desire, want to do. And that's uh, started from really inside and the outside will fall itself. And have the courage to move the first step. You know, with, in Chinese, we say some of the steps start, uh, start with the first step. You know, just take the little baby step and then to see what that bring to you. Yeah, just, and continuously follow step by step, step by step you will be rich where you want to achieve in the year of tiger and beyond. And I love how you talked about as well, this is the year that can change everything. Um, with the year of the tiger and this leap to the next level, um, I encourage our audience to really hear that. And renew your life force, even with the thinking that it's possible. Um, with every new thing, there's a, a something, with every new beginning, there is an end to something. Let the end be to not knowing how to move forward and not understanding that our life force plays such an important role in what it is that we achieve and how it is that we achieve it and know that you are worth every effort to live your best and and healthiest life and so i want to let you know that julie's information is going to be below this video so that you can have it and reach out to her um, find her on facebook on linkedin and uh, her website, because this is an important piece of what the Health, Wisdom and Wealth Show is all about. Informing everyone that there are so many different ways to approach, to approach how we can live our best lives. And these are some of the powerful conversations that are coming to you because you are going to be the ones to help us to make a bigger difference in the world. And so thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Chuli, for delivering such great information. I love it. Renewing your life force for the new year, new Chinese new year of the tiger um, with strength and courage and taking that leap. And don't forget you're red. Spend the day red. <laughs> and, um, Join us again for another show because we are going to be um, just bringing you more information like this. And let us know if you'd like to hear more on this topic, on other topics. And please do us the favor of sharing. We'd love for you to share this information with those that you know and love. All right, everyone, we've got so many exciting things coming up in future episodes and more so stay tuned turn on your notifications be a part of it all share thank you and help us get the message out and until next time be well live love and make a bigger positive impact uh, in your world thanks again
and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.